hey guys welcome back to the channel just wanted to shoot a little quick video uh change the name of the channel to torsion bar hondas because that's mainly what we deal with around here so that's what it's going to be from now on don't plan on changing it but uh we're going to go ahead and we'll get into part of the civic build so here you go how's this going everybody welcome back to the channel so we're back on the 3g build um I had shot some stuff that the video quality turned out really terrible and so the audio on taking the head and stuff off so I'll just show you what we got what I got done fortunately it wasn't worth posting up so we'll go ahead and take a look at the head first so here's the head got it off um, it definitely looked like it could have used a few more oil changes um, We'll flip it over here. Uh, underside of it doesn't look bad at all. I believe, I don't know if that's just corrosion or if they had uh, like some gas concealment or like coolant stop leak stuff in there before, but. So it looks all good, it came off real easy. Um, no dramas. Ugh. And then we'll come over to the cams and all the lifters and all that. So those are the lifters. The cam looks perfectly fine. That's gonna get sent off, these will be get sent off to Delta probably next week for a 272 grind. Um, we'll come over here to the block. So this is in a lot better shape than I anticipated it being in. But this has all got that weird white, almost like corrosion stuff in it. The cylinders don't have any lips in them, so that'll clean up real nice with a ball hone. Uh, this all stuff came off pretty easy. Um, here's the timing covers. This one's still in really good shape. Lower one, no rubbing. It's actually in really good shape, and this is. The inner one as well it's got a little bit over there but other than that and this thing's in super great shape um, one of the things I did do and didn't film well tried to film it but the video quality wasn't that great for whatever reason is I undid all the accessories on the back here and uh, I don't run it I won't run an idle air control valve so I actually had to uh, cut the nipple off and weld it shut Eventually this will get sandblasted, repainted, and then the same with all this stuff over here. Get sandblasted, repainted. So the next step is to get the rest of the water out of the block and go ahead and get the pan, the rest of that pulled off. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with doing that and I'll show you guys what it's looking like. Alright, so I went ahead and got the pan off. Looks all right, I guess. I'm not too thrilled by that, but there's a little bit of stuff in the pickup. Um, I'm not sure if it's silicone or not. You come over here to the pan. It doesn't look like metal, so I don't know, but uh, we'll see what this could change how the build goes. I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the oil pump pickup off and the windage tray, and then we'll see what's looking like underneath there got the windage tray off uh the rear main seal everything looks good here everything looks good so far we'll see when i start pulling the pistons out but everything else seems to look all right nothing that would make me think that there's an issue i don't see any metal anywhere so that's good so i'm gonna go ahead and get uh pistons pulled out and we'll see what we got going on all right got all the pistons out um all the bearings looked really good shape. I mean, even the crank even looks in really good shape. No nicks, nothing catching my nail. <clears throat> so that's promising. And yeah, they're all in really nice shape. Um, so, we'll go ahead and pull out uh, the main caps. The oil pump, that'll probably have to come off with the crank, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get those pulled out and then see what those are looking like. And I'll show you the bearings 
here once we get all this torn apart. All right, got the crank out. <laughs> Finally got the oil pump all that off. I cleaned up the bearings. They look, they have a little bit of wear, but nothing showing any copper. Now this one here is a little bit, but nothing major. So that's real promising. And then come over here to the main caps. They look, all look really good as well. Not a whole lot of excessive wear. This one's a little bit worse in the center there. Like that could have been for me doing this with the engine kind of dry, so I'm not 100% sure if that was like that. And then the bearings on the rods all look pretty good as well. That scratch there is from me hitting it with the screwdriver. This one's a little bit of wear. That one's got a little bit of wear. And then the pistons, the skirts, don't even look that bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. So at this point, I'll go ahead and get stuff cleaned up, get the block cleaned up, yada, yada, yada. So this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.